hi guys uh, welcome to the next part of this uh, king series so now we are covering about motion blur the important thing which uh, most of the guys uh, just like uh, get stuck into this first thing which is the most important thing you need to have a proper mat so it's like before starting you need to just like be like uh, need to work on your alpha to have a proper mat then we can work on integration it's a simple thumb rule for this okay trim halt we're gonna take constant i'm just using constant because it's like gets very easier for everyone it's like is a basic st uh, basic thing that which uh, every artist in your industry start with uh, while uh, how to have a proper key and blend your edges perfectly we uh, this this constant helps a lot because you can just change and think that what can happen change the pick the values and think that i'm just sorry I'm just uh, just a second so what can happen okay so let's get started let me play this footage i'm in love with this footage i have just co got everything which uh, i needed to share with you guys so soon uh, i need a pro pro like if you have any for anyone you have, have a bad chroma which i can use for tutorials so it would be great help from you guys so that i can just help you guys how to get that uh, thing uh, composite as well so it's like uh, such kind of shots uh, need to have a five to six bid like uh, the uh, mendes bid it's like it takes times to have a proper integration with the perfect look day uh, approved background image so it eventually it's take uh, two days to get complete uh, like key this thing and as well as integrate this thing but eventually just uh, it takes time for your background look dev to uh, approve so it's the same thing okay so eventually if you have such kind of like motion blur uh, as you can see over here as well as your hair your hand so how to get this thing done simple let's start first we need to have a mat key light my favorite tool see the uh, i have not used uh, ibk gizmo till yet because it's not needed in this footage eventually if it's needed i would use it so uh, ibk is in uh, like if you use a color ibk color eventually the there's a two ways to use an ibk this can make it heavy like script heavy but if you use ibk gizmo which is like you are just picking a color like you use uh, you do it in a key light same result nothing to worry about almost same it's the same method okay so you can use a key light now we need to take care of this thing when we have a motion blur we have such issues in our alpha so it's always necessary for us to denoise the footage till now i have no haven't denoised my uh, footage but now i have to denoise it okay you can place it anywhere it doesn't make uh, have a lot of difference so eventually we have uh, now covered everything and uh, this is in your uh, like youtube footage issue so can't handle this thing out okay yeah perfect now it's like i'm just uh, sorry just gonna get rid of this thing
Racing, Lumo, Alpha. Same result. I'm just like uh, for now. I'm just gonna leave this. Like, I'm just. I don't want to make this video lengthy. Uh, as I have uh, given you proper clarification about how to like check your mat and everything, so you ca you guys can do that. I'm just gonna use like this image. So you have an motion blur. We need to check. Just double check this thing. Screen mat around nine. Yeah, that's pretty much cool. Uh, you need to have a proper mat. So let's think about this. So when we have motion blur in our image, we usually face such kind of issue. Uh, like most of the time one thing we are using a brighter image now let's go to dark now you see the problem <sighs> now you might know that how painful it can be like to integrate blend this thing in your dark background image L let this thing get buffer so meanwhile just let me check real world score uh, I am uploading this footage this video for you guys uh, I didn't need, <laughs> there was no need for me to show that still Cristiano Ronaldo Messi, Messi no. cool So you can see this is an alpha issue. So uh, like we have lots of motion blur over here. So I'm just gonna short. Like we're just gonna use this much frame. I don't need to. I just don't want to work on alpha right now. So as you can see, we have edges and edges all around over here. So this might be painful for you guys. Like you might be thinking that it might take time. So, how to get this thing done as soon as possible? Let's get started. Let me clean the script. Yeah, same edge blending techniques, but we just gonna do it in a different way. just gonna use this PXF and just, just gonna use this tweak okay so what I'm gonna do over here I'm just gonna retain these edges like and uh, one thing I need to clear clear that you need uh, in while you have a motion blur shot you need to have much more roto you have to uh, your roto work gets increased you can't just ignore this thing so now as you can see like if we do some kind of spill spill tricks so you know we eventually we are just doing some this weird like we are just adding so what we need is that we need this skin color over here so what we gonna do I'm just gonna go as much as possible for me toward this color in spill trick so dun -dun just gonna use this over here so we do that we don't add any add any kind of green over here so dun -dun -dun, almost done in a short span of time we just covered a proper we just killed almost every information over here that's how it's done 
just try to make your work as much as less possible for you guys so please do watch the video that how to uh, have an access to such uh, gizmos okay if you don't have this then what are the options so same key light my favorite way spill it out minus plus method for luminance saturation plus done now we gonna tweak this We need to take it from here. Nah, we are just killing those things. So, what is the thing where we need to do? We just have alpha base over here, so we can pick it from here. But it won't give you a result like which you got from there. The excess glow spill. So, what do you need to do? Alternative way. Zero. check this out when you do this you lose some kind of information so it's like we just can get rid of this thing as well Dun -dun. yeah we just adding back the information over here that's how it's it's need to be okay still as you can see we need to add more of the color what like we have much more luminance so change it from here this is luminance you have total control over here to uh, just get rid of this edges over here that this is an spill tweak for this change tweak it as much as you want you have a proper my idea was to show you that if this thing doesn't work out change it from here ok now what about the hair part so in this case this thing won't work properly so what do you need to do I'm just gonna like have some space for my script to look, look neat and clean This is a dispel method, so it's like for you guys to don't get much confused. We are dispelling over here. Okay, same thing. We just gonna take a key light for hairs, like we did it for hair details. You can check in that video what I did and how did I got uh, this hair details. Okay, key mix. still we are, have some this kind of issue like I explained in my head little video how can you get rid of that simple we get like this then you s just ended up having some kind of information over here uh, less the image the more the work I'm 
just gonna use this rotor for here Zor eventually it's like if this thing doesn't work like we go for this if that doesn't work we go for that this and that we uh, eventually use the 50% or 60% from there and 10% or 40% whatever the ratio might be from here and there to just have a proper image mask this thing now oh, we have done I'm, I'm sorry oh yeah perfect now you can see we have a very good blended image We are not losing any kind of detail. We have this. We have this as well with the darker background. Suppose, like, if just a second. Suppose, in case if this thing gets much darker, still we have those pro information properly that's what I was supposed to tell you guys like if this thing changes this thing shouldn't get effect that's what wa was my motto to teach you guys okay so like if there is any kind of like change or something whatever it might be your key must not get effect however it might be whatever it might be you sh your key shouldn't get uh, affected okay as you can see we are not getting much affected over here that was the idea over here so these things what I'm doing over here they are really really helpful for you guys most of the guys doesn't use the, this technique they eventually just end up having they always I have seen many uh, scripts in my life that uh, in the studio that uh, what the artist does they just know this technique and they just use like they have a tree of this thing till like over here for me this thing doesn't need to be and like uh, like uh, over here till here so this must not be till over here like it's like work smart understand the basics like what is alpha what is this pill why should we use this and why should we uh, add a grade uh, or key uh, over here to just like when we don't have an like we are not getting our I image or pixels or some c pixels we are missing in this image which we are not getting then we can use uh, add it over here so that eventually we have it over here properly so that's what uh, that's the idea over here so you need to learn this this pill this is the main thing that uh, you which can help you every time but uh, what happens when you guys like if you don't know the the basic idea of the dispilling and then you guys just ended up having this uh, much bigger nodes over here so what happens over here when this thing get changes now what you are doing over here you are using a traditional method okay it's an old method where we add color we just uh, have a gamma up and down so eventually if this thing changes now then uh, over here everything changes that we over the value which you have added and it gets lot it gets a lots of problematic for you guys when you you have to redo everything over here so it's like it's it isn't a smart way of compositing okay compositing must be a smart way okay same goes for this edges as well let's see what will work properly for this ha, we need to have another one let's see like we can use a less this 
some at some point some uh, like some some uh, information from this same goes over here as well eventually you have to do this every time now and then <sighs> it's too late yaar have this issue which is coming from here or from the alpha which we are using over here so you need to have a take care of this thing like so or we have an extra edge over here which is coming from here which is going to kill that thing and which is going to have got rid of that thing so if this thing changes it must not affect are this eventually it won't be this much dark it must be around this this okay so that's the way you can have your work done eventually same go around animate your roto a uh, heavy work have an proper alpha and uh, it's a task from my side please do see, as you can see we are just very good with this thing if we close this to thing we have the gray images as well or yeah in the our image again so hope you guys uh, yeah, i was just uh, scaring you guys uh, about this a motion blur thing it's not so hard eventually if you have the right way and the right technique to do it it's really easy for you guys to get this thing out okay uh, like uh, i would just explain you about the pc thing as well for this thing like what about this was a heavy motion blur over here somewhere just hold for a second yeah this part Just a second, guys. Yeah. So, as you can see, perfectly. How to do a QC? Oh, that's my idea over here. So eventually, we can see over here. We have much brighter image over here compared to our original footage, and we are losing this detail. It's a QC part that which uh, I need to explain you guys. like uh, and uh, it's perfectly blended but we like we have a, we can see this thing is not perfectly blended so what do you need to do same have this thing over here to get your edges perfectly blend okay now you can see it's very good before it was bright now it's perfectly balanced okay but we don't have this detail over here so what like i said it before if you have need to add some details you can add it for from there okay red channel go have this in your alpha and just bright this thing that's how it's done and eventually we are just having a proper mat as well getting uh, everything perfectly still there's some missing and we can uh, ignore it for a while for now now over here too much motion blur ha uh, one thing one thing important thing if you don't have a proper mat 
first thing which already warned you about if you don't have a proper mat then you won't have a proper edge integration suppose if you have such kind of mat suppose which is not perfect truly not perfect then you gonna see what's then issue you gonna face you never gonna end up blending this let's just hold for a second this where is my hair and detail it's got over yeah this one yeah uh, now you can see it's perfectly blended now you can see we are just having some extra information over here because of our alpha mat we need to have a proper alpha like it starts the hard mat starts from here it ends over here somewhere it must be that way it start from here it ends somewhere here always do a QC first thing you need to learn that before jumping uh, if you uh, directly jumped on this video I would just seriously suggest you guys that you go on the previous video learn those technique come step by step because everything is uh, linked properly and then uh, come to this at this stage and uh, uh, you gonna understand what uh, what I'm talking about over here so I have covered many things over here and uh, this way the techniques uh, in future I'm just gonna share about uh, there is a there is a uh, method like additive cure as well as uh, like you can I'm just gonna show you uh, Nupedia to Gareth Bill <sighs> so additive I just spell it I just spell it wrong over here additive cure I'm gonna explain you about this tool it's a very powerful tool and it's really really good for you guys to learn this tool and uh, like it's not available every time for you guys but how it works it it gonna make you like uh, understand that uh, you can read this you can have this check for the license uh, as I always suggest you guys okay so hope you guys uh, learned a lot uh, in this video and if you have any query any kind of problem please do ask me I have already shared my details of Facebook and LinkedIn and you can ask me directly over there so let's see who wins the uh, La Liga as well I'm just gonna watch this match okay so thank you guys hope you like the video please do subscribe to my channel share my video okay and uh, please 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 like and share and subscribe to my channel please please please